before we get started, let's put this video on full screen. It's this button right here. Now I want to know something. Have you watched all of someone's videos? I think it's a great thing when you find a good channel and go back to watch all the videos from oldest to newest. It's like you can watch them in advance as to how they shoot and edit their videos. My favorite is SMP Films. Even though he currently has 259 videos, I've watched them all and I don't regret a moment. Thanks, Corey. Every once in a while, I'll come across a channel I like. It seems relatively new and with not many videos. Then it's cool to watch them learn in real time. I don't mean to make it sound like I'm not learning. Learn something new every day, I say. Remember. Knowledge is king. Knowledge is king. Knowledge is king, man. Of course, I'm subscribed to all my family members that have YouTube accounts. My dad just made a few slideshows and was using the newspaper effect, but the but the box was just blank blue, and that bothers me. He said he didn't know how to put anything in there, and I realized I didn't either. Nor have I ever tried to use the effect. I started going through Windows Movie Maker for a while, and I was starting to think I didn't even have it on my version. I finally found it, and I was having trouble how to get anything in the box also. Then I just started messing around with everything. I haven't used any transitions in a long time. I think I should use them. Then my videos would look a lot better, hopefully not more cheesy. When I added a transition, I figured it out, and I would have kicked my stupid butt if I could. It's just so stinking easy. Just drag it into the title overlay row. What would have been easier would be to click title on the selected clip instead of before or after. And of course we can put pictures, video, or any combination thereof into the newspaper effect.